friends this is our first video uh, please subscribe and give us a like to support us okay let's start our first video with process costing where do we use process costing uh, the process costing is used in the industries where the process of manufacture is divided into two or more processes using process costing we can find the total cost and unit cost of each and every processes so let's begin with the question so a product passes through three processes 1 2 and 3 10000 units at a cost of rupees 1.10 paise were introduced to process 1 these are the details regarding process 1 2 and 3 it includes materials direct labor expenses wastages and scrap value production overheads charged at 160% of direct labor prepare process accounts so process accounts Process account is nothing but a ledger account. We have debit side as well as credit side. So let's start with process 1. So in process 1, they have given 10,000 units at a cost of rupees 1.10 were introduced. So when materials are introduced, we are going to debit it. Ten thousand units into one point one zero, which gives you eleven thousand. So next additional materials introduced were some fifty. So you can write it as additional materials some fifty. Then we have direct labor. So two direct labor. 2,250 so in process account we are going to debit all the expenses incurred for that process so we are preparing different processes so expenses incurred for a particular process is debited on the deb debit side of the process account two we have given uh, we have we have production overheads charged at 160 percent of direct labor so we are going to write production overheads as direct labor 2250 into 160%. So 160% of 2250 is 3600. Then we have wastage, 5% wastage for the process one. So wastage is nothing but a normal loss. When a product goes through a process, it is usual that it incurs normal loss. So 5% of normal loss is charged on the credit side by normal loss. So calculation for normal loss is taken from units introduced. So 10,000 units into 5% which gives you 500 units. So it means 500 units were lost during the process. So the scrap value for those 500 units is 0.25 paise. So when you multiply 500 into 0 0.25 you get 125. So we have to balance this process account so the output of the process 1 becomes the input for the process 2 so now we are going to write by by transfer to process 2 so uh, how are we going to find out the output for the process 1 we have a working note for this So now here we have the working notes to find out the cost per unit of the output. Now we have to add the debit side which sums up to 18,100 and the credit side 125. So now the units 10,000 and we have 500. Now we have to subtract the debit side with the credit side that comes up to 18,100 minus 125 divided by 10,000 units minus 500 units so it is amount divided by number of units now we will get the cost per unit which is 0.1 so the cost per unit of the process 1 is rupees 1.892 now we have to apply it here so 
number of units is 10,000 units minus 500 which is 9,500 units into 1.8925 which we found out from the working note. 9,500 units. So the credit side also becomes 10,000. Now we have to multiply 9,500 into 1.892. We get 17,975. So again the credit side becomes 18,100. Now the output of the process 1 which we just found out becomes the input for the process 2. So as like we wrote for the process 1 to material introduced, we are now going to write to transfer from process 1. Number of units is 9500 and the amount is 17,975. Again now we are going to debit all the expenses such as material to additional material which is 7500 sorry 750 rupees and direct labor which is 4000 rupees for the process 2 and direct expenses is rupees 500 and finally we are going to write production overheads so production overheads is charged at 160% of direct labor as like the process one we will take 160% of 4000 so 4000 into 160 percentage which comes up to 6400 now for the process two we have wastage of 4% this 4% wastage is calculated from the units introduced. As like the process one, we have normal loss 9500 into 4%. So 9500 into 4% is 380 units. So the scrap value of this 380 units is rupees 50 paise. So 380 units into 50 paise we get 190 rupees and now the last step for the process 2 is transfer to process 3 by transfer to process 3 so now we require a working note As like the process one, we are going to add the debit side here. So debit side sums up to 29,625 and 9,500. Now for the process two, this is for process one and this is for process two. 29,625 minus the credit side value, 190 rupees divided by 9,500 units and the credit side value 380 so here we are going to get the cost per unit for the process 2 that is 3.2275 it is better that you need not round out the value you get for the cost per unit so you will get the accurate value for the output now we have found out the cost per unit 3.2275 here we have to write 9120 the 9120 is nothing but 9500 minus 380 that is the actual output of the process 2 into rupees 3.2275 9120 over here and the value 29435 so you have to add this and write 9500 units and 29 625 rupees the output of the process 2 becomes input over here so to transfer from process 1 process 2 9120 units value is 29435 so now we are going to debit all the expenses material 750 
labor Three thousand two fifty, then direct expenses. We have seven fifty. Then to production overheads, one sixty percent of direct labor. So direct labor is three thousand two fifty into one sixty percent. So the value becomes five thousand two hundred. Now uh, we have. Wastage of five percent. We are going to write by normal loss. We we will calculate normal loss from the input. That is five percent for the process three, which comes up to five four hundred and fifty six units. So then the scrap value is rupees one. Four fifty six units into rupees one. the value of the normal loss becomes 456 now we are going to find out the output for the process 3 now we are not going to write by transfer to next process because this is the last process so we will write by finished stock calculation is just same process 3 now we are going to add the debit side so the debit side total comes to 39385 so the number of units is also 9120 so 39385 minus 456 units then 9120 units minus oh sorry Oh, we have the value also, four fifty six units. So the cost per unit for the process three is four point four nine three one. So it is not for the process three. The cost per unit of the output becomes four point four nine three one. Number of units eight 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 sixty four into four point Four nine three one, eight thousand six sixty four units at the cost of four point four nine three one. We get the value as thirty eight thousand nine twenty nine. So this becomes thirty eight thousand nine twenty nine. So this is the way you proceed with the process costing sum. So you will start with process one, process two, and process three. At the end, you will find out the cost per unit of the output. Thank, Thank you. you.